For this video, we're going to concentrate on how to create a lens flare, specifically for a light and also the sun. It's not really that hard to do, so it'll be pretty quick, and let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and display and hide the inflow to none because it's kind of distracting. And next I'm going to go to my entity, and I want to choose lights. But before I do so, let's go over to snapping and do snapping to geometry. I'm going to double click on the light and bring it up into the scene. If you don't see any of these helpers, make sure that helpers is turned on. Otherwise, you're good to go. So I need to disable the snapping once again. And I'm going to move this up with the one key and make sure it's a little bit above the ground. The next thing that I need to do is go over to the properties. And inside of this, we can see at the bottom flare, flare enable, and flare FOV. This is where the actual flare is declared, and to do so we need to go to the Tools, Lens Flare Editor, and you can actually construct your own presets, but for the sake of the video being short, I'm going to load the samples that ship with the game SDK. So we open this up and we have sample flares. I'm going to double click that, and I'm going to open up Generic. And what I'm looking for is the Generic Sun Flare, considering at first we're going to make it for this light, but then we're also going to make it for the sun. So double clicking that, I can now go to the assign item to selected objects. And if I click that, we already have a flare that's kind of enabled. We can't see it too well. So if I turn up the diffuse multiplier to say 10, now we can see that we have a very, very strong flare across this light. Now keep in mind, this is specifically just for this light. We can have other flares on other types of lights. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're just showing this one. The next thing that I want to do is actually I want to attach this light to the sun so I can see a flare like you see on the screen, but maybe in the level where the sun is up on the time of day. So we need to go to the Tools, Environment Editor. We're going to actually push this back to where it's daytime. So if I look around, let's find the sun. That's the sun right there. So if you remember, we still have Light 1 enabled. And this is where we can actually click another one of these Boolean checkboxes, and it says Attach to Sun. So if I click that, we now have this light attached to the sun and creating the lens flare that we had originally on that individual light. Keep in mind, though, that this light still exists down here. And if you want to have a light with a flare, you need to have it completely separate of one with the sun. Otherwise, they won't work because they're both dependent on the light and also the sun to combine. So if you do this, make sure you replace the other flare that you had before with a new flare so it's not taken away. I hope this video uh, shows you how to use flares, and we'll go into more deeper topics regarding building the flares in other videos, but this shows you how to get it working not only on your entities, but also with the time of day and the sun in general.